Hi, I'm Doug Binks, and this is a void. So I'm going to load a level. A void is a game which takes place in zero gravity, and you can move in six degrees of freedom. In other words, you can move in any direction, up, down, left, right, and rotate in all directions. Now, this environment is one which uh, I made earlier. The regular spheres and cubes were just constructed by an algorithm on the computer, but you can also edit the environment at will. So here's a simple um, cube. In fact, I'm building a 6x6 six six cube here. And the colors correspond to green, meaning a full set of cubes, and red, not much in it. I can move around really fast and still construct stuff. Increasing the size to a, a much larger set of cubes, we can still edit really quickly. Again, here the green part is when I've completely filled in each little one by one voxel. Deleting is really fast as well, and we can delete a big cube and then uh, go in and do some detail, carving out some caves. It takes longer to carve out from the uh, completely filled areas than from the ones which have only got a little bit of material in. And we can basically destroy and construct any part of the environment here. Everything is totally editable. Now you've noticed that uh, the voxels aren't displayed in polygons as just plain, simple cubes. They have slightly different shapes depending upon, in this case, how much material is in them and also what the constraints are from the neighbors. I can show you this a bit better if I construct something with uh, single voxels. So here I'll make a little tower. So as you can see, one bit of the tower there has got a different shape. That's where there's only a tiny amount of material, whereas some of the other pieces, which are fully green, are almost completely square. Here I can thin out the tower. Just put a piece back. Right now I'll try and make a, a nice thin but tall tower for you. And I'll take off that piece off the edge, make it symmetric. And I think it shows quite well how this works if I remove this middle cube here now. And you can see that the other cubes are constrained to be within their voxel spaces, but they can have within that different shapes. I could actually make this really thin, but the current editing system doesn't make it quite so easy to do. Okay, I think that's enough of uh, editing small spires. I'll do a fly through now. So this environment was about two kilometers by one kilometer by two kilometer in size if we have each of the voxel cubes as being a one meter by one meter by one meter. We're not constrained to that size of environment, but um, this level takes up around 80 megabytes on disk. We actually load the entire level and then the level of detail polygons are created on the fly. The machine we're using for that is actually only a two-core machine. It's a laptop Ultrabook with uh, Intel HD 4000 graphics. Okay, I'll fly down this uh, tube I made earlier. It's a little hard because the current collision for the movement is done just based on the actual voxel shapes themselves and not on the polygons. So. I can easily catch an edge here if I get a mistake.
I had great fun creating this large canyon system earlier. You'll have to imagine the laser beams and explosions, I'm afraid. The original Avoid we made back in 2001, although it had a fully editable environment, was purely multiplayer. We had bots, um, but there was no other enemies other than uh, the sort of avatar type creatures. We intend to have drones and various other enemies in this game, so there'll be quite a bit of differentiation in terms of the combat possibilities. And mining and construction of your defenses and offensive capabilities is going to be more important. This is a fairly large uh, internal space here. In fact, this is larger than the largest level that we could have in the original Avoid. If you'd like to check that out, by the way, you can actually download the original Void from our website. But be aware, it is only multiplayer over the LAN. There's no network discovery for internet gameplay. So I'll fly out of this sphere by this tunnel I made and look around to the left. So I took a slice out of this, imagining I was creating some kind of landing bay for a spacecraft. and fly back out through this hole here. Thanks for watching.